Filled with racism and hatred, Louis Gohmert introduces legislation banning the Democratic Party from Congress. <laughs> it is about damn time someone holds them to their own standards. Representative Louis Gohmert would like to see the House of Representatives ban the Democratic Party and urge party leaders to change the name of the caucus because the party once supported slavery. A great portion of the history of the Democratic Party is filled with racism and hatred, Gohmert said. Since people are demanding we rid ourselves of the entity symbols and reminders of the repugnant aspects of our past, then the time has come for the Democrats to acknowledge their party's loathsome and bigoted past and consider changing their party name to something that isn't so blatantly offensive and tied to slavery. Jim Crow, discrimination, and the Ku Klux Klan. Thank you. Finally, somebody said it. When are we going to cancel the Democratic Party for their history of slavery and supporting segregation? Huh? On Wednesday, the House voted to take down the statue of former Confederate General Robert E. Lee, as well as 15 other figures on display inside the U.S. Capitol, deeming them insensitive to racial minorities in America. Well, let's go all the way, man. Remove the Democratic Party. For those of us who are uh, sons of the South, for those of us who have endured hardship, discrimination, and a lot of things that are very difficult to even talk about, for this moment in time where we are today, where, where we are going to start the process of healing and setting the record straight as it relates to the real history of this country, it is fitting and proper that those individuals who fought to keep many of our ancestors enslaved should not have, have to be recognized in a place where people who do good expect to be recognized, said <laughs> Representative Benny Thompson, a Democrat. Yeah, no, I, love it. I love it when these fucking politicians refer to themselves as, oh, we're doing good. This is all for the greater good. This is what's best for everyone, where everyone translates to their owners who are, are patting their pockets. Now, I've yet to see a politician do good. Gomert, a Republican, introduced a resolution Thursday that would ban any names, uh, symbols, or mentions uh, any political organization or party that has ever held a public position that supported slavery or the Confederacy. The Texas congressman included uh, in his resolution more than a dozen instances of Democrats either standing in the way of civil rights reform or promoting racist policies. Oh, like Joe Biden, maybe? That would be an interesting one. But yeah, this, this is what we should have done a long time ago. But like TFM keeps saying, if we want to win this fight, we're just going to have to out-crazy the crazies. This is probably the best solution. So these included Woodrow Wilson's segregation policies in 1912, the KKK's presence at the 1924 Democratic National Convention. Oh, they've been present in every other Democratic National Convention. They just haven't been wearing their hoods. And the prominence of Senator Robert Byrd, who was once one of the country's most racist lawmakers. To avoid triggering innocent bystanders by the racist past of the Democratic Party, I would suggest they change their name, Gomez said. That is the standard to which they are holding everyone else, so the name change needs to occur. Gomez's resolution was co-sponsored by Representatives Andy Biggs, Jody Heiss, uh, Rand Weber, and Andy Harris. Now, this right here is a proper way to spend time as a politician, because either they're doing things you know, as a joke to prove double standards like this, or they're actively harming the country. The Democratic Party may as well rename themselves the Communist Party, because that's what they are. They may as well just be honest about it. And do you guys remember when uh, during the during the last presidential primary when it was Hitlery versus Bernie, and Hitlery was being uh, interviewed on some some. Uh, it was a news station that I was actually really fucking surprised was going hardball on her, and they were they kept asking her that what's the difference between a Democrat and a socialist because they were trying to make her differentiate herself from Bernie, right? And she just kept deflecting the question. Like, uh, well, you really should be asking if the difference between a Democrat and a Republican. Like, no, 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 no. This is now between you and Bernie, right? So what's the difference between a Democrat and a socialist? And she, she never had an answer. She couldn't find a fucking answer to that. Because they are the fucking same. In current year. People who once called themselves Democrats are on the right because everyone to the right of Stalin has been labeled alt-right and pushed into the Republican Party. The Democratic Party, as it exists right now, may as well rename themselves the, uh, the People's Party of America or something. 
Oh man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.